Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to the Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program. The Ministry of Education and Partners COVID-19 Teaching by Radio program is a 30 minutes radio intervention support program that is meant to provide continuous instruction to keep you academically engaged during this stay-at-home period, as well as preparing you our six. 9th and 12th graders for the Penny Liberia Primary School Certificate Exam, Liberia Junior High School Certificate Exam, and West Africa Senior Secondary Certificate Exam when the time comes. Also in addition to this academic support, the program is meant to provide psychosocial support for learners, teachers, and parents, and also tips on how you as parents and teachers can provide support to your students and children at home. Now, let's join our teacher for today's lesson. Hello, students. Welcome to another Ministry of Education COVID-19 Teaching My Radio program. I'm your radio teacher, Pauline Titi Brown. Before we begin our lesson for today, let us review what we have learned and practiced in the last lesson. In our lesson, we listen to a passage and answered questions about Liberia's natural resources. We also practiced building our vocabulary by using synonyms and antonyms. Synonyms are words with the same or nearly the same meaning. For example, big, huge, large, enormous, vast, are all synonym. They are words used to describe how big something is. Antonyms, on the other hand, are words with opposite meaning. For example, tiny, little, small, are all antonyms of the word big. Today, we are going to do a reading lesson for grade five students. The topic is Endangered Animals of Liberia. Please take out your pencil, pen, and copy book and get ready for today's lesson. As you find your materials, let us listen to a message on COVID-19. Welcome back, boys and girls. Our reading lesson today will have two parts. In the first part, we'll listen to a passage about endangered animals. In the second half, we will identify the root or base in words with prefixes make new words using prefixes. There are animals in Liberia that people should not hunt, kill, buy, or eat. It is because they are endangered. What does the word endangered mean? This means that they are almost all gone. Too many have been killed, so they are at risk of disappearing. Can you predict what animal will be mentioned in the passage? One endangered animal is the Japan Sea. Let us find out more about the chimpanzee. We are learning about the chimpanzee today. Chimpanzee. Chimpanzees are a kind of ape or monkey. They are commonly called bamboo in Liberia. They are big and have black hair. They live mostly in the forest. Japan Sea are smart animals. First, they use stones and break sticks like hammers. 
They use them to break open kinds of nuts that they eat. Second, Japan seas have families like humans. They live in family groups. They care for their babies even as they get older. Female Japan sea gave their babies milk like us. It is important to protect the Japan seas. Many researchers believe that there are few Japan seas left in West Africa. In Liberia, there may only be 5,000 left. Many people hunt them or buy them. This is illegal. It is against the law to kill, buy, or eat this monkey. If we keep hunting Japan seas, they can disappear. In the future, our grandchildren may never see one in the forest. We need to save the Japan Sea. What's it, guys? This was the first reading of the passage. We are going to listen to the passage again. As you listen, please think about these questions. Question number one, what is the name of the animal? What is the name of the animal? Question number two, where does it live? Question number three, what does it look like? Number four, how does it live? Five, why is it endangered? And six, what can you do to protect this animal? Now, let us listen to the passage again. Japan Sea. Japan Seas are a kind of ape or monkey. They are commonly called bamboo in Liberia. They have black hair and are big. They live mostly in the forest. Japan Sea are smart animals. First, they use stones and big sticks like hammers. They use them to break open nuts, different kinds of nuts that they eat. Second, Japan Sea have families like humans. They live in family groups. They care for their babies even as they get older. Female Japan Sea gave their babies milk like us. It is important to protect the Japan Sea. Many researchers believe that there are few Japan Seas left in West Africa. In Liberia, there may only be 5,000 left. Many people hunt or buy them. This is illegal. It is against the law to kill, buy, or eat this monkey. If we keep hunting Japan Seas, they can disappear. In the future, our grandchildren may never see one in the forest. We need to save the Japan Sea. You have listened to the passage for the second time. Let us pause for an awareness message on COVID-19 while you take your copy books, pencils, or pen. When we return, will answer questions from the passage. Coronavirus spreads via droplets. When the person coughs or sneezes, the droplets land on surfaces and are picked up on the hands of others and spread further. People catch the virus when they touch their infected hands to their mouth, nose, or eyes. It follows 
And the single most important thing you can do to protect yourself is keep your hands clean by washing them frequently with soap and water or hand sanitizer. Welcome back, boys and girls. Please follow the instructions from the Ministry of Health to stay free from the coronavirus. Now, here are our questions from the passage. As we ask the questions, please write the answer to the questions in your copy book. Do not forget to begin your sentences with capital letters and end with an appropriate punctuation mark. Also, please do not forget to write your answer using complete sentences. Our first question, what is the name of the animal? Again, what is the name of the animal? You may have written the name of the animal is Japan Sea. Well done. The name of the animal is Japan Sea. It is commonly known as bamboo in Liberia. Students, our next question. Where does it live? Write your answer in your copy book. Begin your sentence with a capital letter. End with a punctuation mark. Write your answer using a full sentence. Where does it live? It lives mostly in the forest. Very good. If you wrote, it lives mostly in the forest. According to the passage, Japan sees live mostly in the forest. Our next question, what does it look like? What does it look like? Well done. If your answer is, it is big and has black hair, you are correct. Japan seas are big and they have black hair. The next question, how does it live? How does it live? Write your answer using a full sentence, beginning your sentence with a capital letter and ending with the appropriate punctuation mark. And so, Japan Sea live in family groups. If this is what you wrote, you are correct. Japan Sea have families. They live in family groups. They take care of their babies like humans. Our next question, why is it endangered? Why is it endangered? It is endangered because people hunt to buy and eat Japan seeds. It is endangered because people hunt to buy and eat Japan seeds. Sooner or later, there will be no more Japan seeds left. This is why Japan seeds are endangered. An endangered animal is at risk of becoming extinct. E X T R N C T extinct. That means disappearing for good, no longer existing, wiped or died out. 
Think about this, boys and girls. What can you do to protect this animal and all endangered animals? Think about it. What can you do to protect this animal and all endangered animals? Very good, boys and girls. You have a lot of good ideas. Some ideas you have could include telling people about their endangered animals. Telling people that these animals are protected animals by law and it is illegal to kill them, to hunt them. And not hunting or buying or eating these animals yourself. There are animals in Liberia that people should not hunt, kill, buy, or eat. It is because they are endangered. Remember, we said that endangered means that these animals are almost all gone. Too many have been killed, so they are at risk of disappearing. Some of the endangered animals protected by law in Liberia include Japan seas, Dino monkey, commonly known as French monkey, elephants, deer, Liberia mongoose, commonly known as softly, softly, the pygmy hippo, the fruit bat, the parrot, and many more. These are protected animals. It is against the law to kill them. Remember, the coronavirus is real. It is in Liberia. Follow the instructions from the Ministry of Health and stay safe. In this part of the lesson, we will practice making new words using prefixes. Prefix is spelled P. R E F R X prefix. More than one prefix is prefixes. P R E F R X E S prefixes. Learning prefixes is a great way to build our vocabulary quickly. What is a prefix? A prefix is a group of letters added to the beginning of a word to change its meaning. A prefix comes at the beginning of a base word and let me say it, it changes the meaning of the word. The root of base word is the main part of the word. It contains the basic meaning of the word. Now, I'm going to spell a word. Please take your pencil and write the word as I spell it. The word is rewrite. R-E-W-R-I-T-E. Again, R E W R I T E. We write. Now, boys and girls, let us say the word together. We write. Now, please circle the root or the base word. Cycle the root or the base word. Very good. Please cycle the prefix in rewrite. Cycle the prefix in rewrite. Good. The prefix is re, R E. And the base word is write, W R I T E, write. Re means to do again. To do again. So, rewrite means 
to write again. Have you heard this word before? Where have you heard it? How will you use rewrite in a sentence? Here is an example. You did not write your notes correctly. Can you please rewrite them? You did not write your notes correctly. Can you please rewrite them? Let us try with another word. Please write the word as I spell it. The word is disagree. D I S A G R E E. Let us read the word together. Disagree. Please cycle the prefix and underline the base word in disagree. Again, please cycle the prefix and underline the base word in disagreed. If you cycle this and underline agree, well done. D I S is the prefix and A G R E E is the base word. This means not. So disagrees. Disagree means not to agree. Have you heard this word? How will you use it in a sentence? Here is an example of disagree used in the sentence. We disagree with the answer you gave. We do not agree with the answer you gave. Class, can we do another example? Write the word untrue. U N T R U E, untrue. Let us read the word together untrue. Please cycle the prefix and underline the base word in untrue. Cycle the prefix and underline the base word in untrue. If you cycle on un and underlined true, T R U E, excellent. On is the prefix and true is the base word. On means not. So untrue means not true. Have you heard this word before? Can you think of a sentence? With the word untrue, let us see an example. The story is untrue. We are doing great, boys and girls. Now, boys and girls, let us practice. I will say a prefix and a base or root word, and you will write the new word. We are practicing writing new words using prefix. So, I will say a prefix and a base or root word and you will write the new word. Let us do an example together. Re plus do. The new word is redo. R-E-D-O. Please redo the homework. Okay, now that we have practiced one together, it's your turn to try one on your own. Our prefix is on and the base word is fair. On and the base word is fair. Our new word is unfair. U-N-F-A-R-R. -R. If this is what you wrote, you are correct. An example with unfair, the decision is unfair. The decision is not fair. Our prefix is re, and the base word is plant. Our prefix 
is re and the base word is plant. What's now, guys? What is our new word? Did you write replant? You are correct. Our new word is R E P L A N T. Replant the trees when you cut them down. One more word, boys and girls. Our prefix is this, D I S. And the base word is honest. What is our new word, boys and girls? Our new word is dishonest. D I S H O N E S T. Dishonest. Some people are dishonest, some people are not honest. Thank you, boys and girls. This brings us to the end of our lesson for today. In this lesson, we listen to and answer questions about a passage on endangered animals in Liberia. We also practice building our vocabulary by using prefixes. Remember, a prefix is a group of letters added to the beginning of a base word to change its meaning. Learning prefixes is a great way to build our vocabulary. We will learn more about prefixes in other lessons. But in the meantime, please look around you, think about words, think about verbs that you can add prefix to to practice making new words. Please share what you have learned today with a family member or a friend, remembering to keep social distancing. Invite a classmate or a family member to listen with you as we do these radio lessons. Thank you for listening. I have been your radio teacher, Pauline Titi Brown. If you have any questions or need clarification on today's lesson, please text it to the following number 0555882930. The number again is 0555882930. Happy